emotion and I know what we can do. Love's got the world in motion and I can't believe it's true. Hi guys, I thought we'd have a bit of a fun one today. Uh, what with England in the World Cup, we look at World in Motion by New Order. Uh, we're going to do a whole bunch of different versions of this, so if you feel like you've been playing guitar quite a long time, uh, there's a bar chord version which sounds sort of closest to the song and you can really get that funky rhythm going. Uh, we'll also look at one with a capo on the 4th fret uh, with bar chords and a capo on the 4th fret with like no bar chords, so I'll put links in the bottom and you can um, click on whichever one suits your playing. Also, if you take a quick look at this uh, and pause the video and write it down, if you can see that, uh, then that will be the rhythms. Uh, it will be a bit easier when we talk about them. Uh, the same if you've just been playing and you're not on your bar chords, it's probably best to do the second rhythm. Uh, but if you've been playing quite a while, that first rhythm sounds quite funky. Uh, as you know, I've got new music out, uh, so if you can check it out, it's called Lifeline. You can find it on any platform, uh, and there's the video on YouTube. But let's go cracking. Okay guys, so let's look at the rhythm first. Um, I know my whiteboard, the pen's running out, so it might not be that clear. So let's just talk it through it. We're going 16th notes, so 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. So it's just up and down in that right hand. So you can get used to that initially, just doing that. You can. We're going to start on a G sharp minor bar chord. If you don't know your bar chords, just for the moment take an E minor just to get used to that rhythm. Uh, if you're going for the really simple version, with just the open chords, we're going to look at a different rhythm so you can just jump straight to that bit in the link below. So if you've got your bar chord, we're going to go down on one, E and is just going to be nothing, you're not going to do anything. Then uh before two, we're going to go up, down, and then this is just going to keep going up and down, but this is where it gets slightly complicated. Relax your left hand so it doesn't make any noise, mute, so it's up, down, Back on, up, for three, which is down, nothing, E, which is up, back down, uh, uh, and, sorry, which is nothing, down, and then your last five strums, up, down, up, down, up, are all on. I know that sounds super confusing, so I'll go through it really slow, I'll just play the rhythm really slow. speed sounds like okay that bit's the only confusing thing in this song uh, it's just a four chord song pretty much apart from that so take your time learning that rhythm and you have the song the chords we have a bar of G sharp minor a bar of F sharp and then we go to C sharp C sharp, which you can either play up here or here. If you know how to play them in the Hendrix style, so rather than a normal bar chord on the ninth fret or your A bar chord on the fourth fret, if you play the top two strings bar with your first finger and then you just play as if you were playing an F in the open on the ninth fret, bring your thumb over to the ninth and then you can get your little finger on the eleventh fret of the B and we do half a bar of C-sharp minor and then take it off. On the C-sharp minor I like to kind of get rid of the mutes and just kind of play a 16th notes up and down and just play around with that little finger. Just to kind of give it a little bit more of a different sound. So if you just stick to the rhythm it's a bar of G-sharp minor, a bar of F-sharp minor, two bars of C sharp minor or C sharp minor if you prefer it up there. Uh, that's the whole song apart from the lead into the rap uh, where he does G sharp minor, F sharp and then we come to C sharp minor, drop it back to B so it's half uh, it's a half a bar sorry of no, sorry it's a full bar of C sharp and then you come back for half a bar of B half a bar of C sharp and he just does that twice in the lead up. That's kind of copying where the piano drops down. Yeah, so have some fun with that.
Okay guys, if you're doing the capoid version, the capo is on the 4th fret, uh, and our rhythm's going to be the same. Don't worry about the mute at the moment, instead of doing mutes, just keeping that 16th notes down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, all the time, apart from that very first bar where it's down, you miss the E and, and then you're in for the a 2, and everything carries on as I said before. So we're going to do bar of E minor. Bar of B minor 7. And then two bars of A, I like to bar the A, but you can play A any way you like. And that's the whole song, again, apart from uh, the lead into the rap, where we have a bar of E minor, se uh, e minor bar of B minor 7, then things get a little bit different. We have half a bar of D major 7, which is going to be our three thin strings barred on the second. You just move that mini bar up to A, uh, and then we're going to have E minor seven. Uh, so we got our first finger on the second fret of the A, third finger on the third fret of the B, half a bar of that, and half a bar of A. So I'll just play through that bit nice and slow. Uh, and that's just, I think he does it four times leading into the rap, and then you just go back into the E minor, B minor, 7, A pattern. Uh, if you wanted to look at adding in some mutes with those open chords, it's a little bit tricky. You can either use your right hand, or the left hand like I did just there with that ring finger, where it just taps down and you've got to mute the strings. That's a little bit of a complicated one. Uh, and you may find that your rhythm slightly changes, but that doesn't matter too much. Or you can use the right hand, but it will sound a little bit more like a slap. Which doesn't quite fit so well. Uh, so if you, uh, what I would say is if you struggle with the left hand one, just keep it rolling through until you get to the B minor. Because then you're just releasing that pressure again, just relaxing that left hand. Um, and that will mute those strings. Just be careful that the bass doesn't ring out and you've got your finger just touching it. And then for the A, if you're barring the A, if you bring your thumb over the top, you can mute the top two strings. And then you can use that again, the same pressure to mute those strings. Okay guys, and if you're doing the open chord version, we're gonna use a D, uh, where before we were playing a B minor seven, uh, we're going to replace that with a D. It's something called a relative minor and major. I won't go into it too much, but it will sound pretty similar, but not quite exactly the same. Uh, we're going to go for a bar of E minor, a bar of D, and two bars of A. For the rhythm, what we're going to have, I'll just talk you through it first. If you take an E minor chord, the count is going to be this. We've got 16th notes in there, which are counted E and uh, uh, which is just a faster up and down. That's all that is. So it's going to go 1 and 2, E and uh, 3 is silent, E and 4. So down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down. If you've got someone to write that down, that helps a lot with that. Uh, I'll just play it through a little bit more up to speed. Then we've got a bar of D. Then two bars of A. And then the last little bit we're going to look at, if you have two guitars, uh, you can do that little intro.
Uh, so what that is, we're just using the top three strings. Uh, I'm going to take the capo off so that people who are doing it without the capo uh, know what the notes are. Uh, we're going to be starting on the 8th fret um, with your middle finger on the G string, so 8th fret. Then we're going to go 7th fret of the B, 9th fret of the B, up to the 6th fret of the E, and then 9, 7, 6 on the B. And then we walk up those same notes again, so it goes 6, 7, 9 on the B, over to 6 on the E, and then 9 to finish. And then it's pretty much the same, it starts on 8, and then instead of coming to 6 on the B, we go to 6 on the E, 2 7s on the B, 2 6s. Little pause, nine, six. Okay guys, so you enjoyed that lesson. Uh, it's quite a fun song to play and it's great at this time of year. Uh, also, if you could like, subscribe, do all that stuff, that helps me out immensely. And any comments, questions, pop them in below, any requests for new songs, and I'll get around to it. And uh, yeah, come on England.